Hello everyone, this is Pastor Sung. Today I just want to share with you uh, what our church talked about last Sunday. We talked about Jesus' baptism. So how do we understand the baptism of Jesus? At the time, the baptism of water uh, was thought to be the baptism of repentance. We know that Jesus is not a sinner. Then why do you think Jesus let himself be baptized? The baptism of repentance. So when Jesus came to the river to be baptized, John the Baptist said, Oh, you don't have to be baptized because he's not a sinner. But Jesus says, Oh, I need to be baptized to fulfill the righteousness. Jesus says to fulfill the righteousness. So this is the reason why Jesus needed to be baptized. And I believe by the baptism of Jesus, the meaning and the nature of baptism of water is changed. And I believe it is the divine intervention to change the nature and the meaning of baptism. From the baptism of repentance to the baptism of righteousness. So we know that before the baptism of Jesus, people would come to the river to be baptized over and over again. They repeated to be baptized because it is the baptism of repentance. But after Jesus, we don't have to be baptized over and over again. Why? Because the nature of baptism is changed by divine intervention. So it was the baptism of repentance, but now it is the baptism of righteousness. Then how do we see the divine intervention in the baptism? So let us talk about it. So Jesus came there to be baptized. I believe it is the divine intervention. And by the intervention of Jesus, it is changed as the baptism of righteousness. And not only Jesus, but also God the Father came to the river to intervene into the baptism. So by the intervention of God the Father, all the people who are baptized are called as the beloved children of God. By the intervention of God the Father, yes, the new relationship has been set up by the intervention of God the Father. Then the Holy Spirit also intervened into the baptism. The Holy Spirit came upon Jesus like a dove. But what does that mean? The Holy Spirit came upon Jesus and like a dove. So the next story after Jesus' baptism tells us what it means. Jesus was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness. In other words, it is not the will of Jesus, but the will of the Holy Spirit leading the life of Jesus into the wilderness. Since the baptism, we let the Holy Spirit lead our lives. So by being led by the Holy Spirit, we can bear the fruits of heaven. I can find out the story of a dove in Genesis. After the great flood, the dove brought the good news to Noah in the ark. What was the good news? A new life over the great flooded world. Yes, Holy Spirit gave us the sign of new life at the moment of our baptism. So what do we remember here? By the divine intervention into our baptism, we got a new nature, not as the repenting sinners, but as the righteous people of God, and then we got a new relationship with God, the Father 
and children relationship. And then we got the new guidance, the Holy Spirit, leading into the way of bearing the fruits of heaven. So let us remember, we are living the new life with the new nature and with the new relationship with God. This is the sign of our baptism. Amen.